What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports Channel. I'm here to bring you guys a discussion video. I want to pose you guys a question. I'll answer it as well throughout the video, but I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. And the question is, is Carson Beck good enough to be the first player overall picked in this year's draft class? Let's talk about it, guys. So, as we all figure, as we all know by this point, it's super early. Things could change, but most likely it's looking like the Carolina Panthers will be picking pick one this year's NFL draft, as well as they will be needing a quarterback to lead them to their future because, as we all know, uh, as of right now, Bryce Young is benched for week three, and we'll see what happens past that point. Hopefully he can bounce back, but you know, uh, most likely it's just trending toward new regime, new head coach. Um, Bryce Young is not part of their, was, was not their pick, so it's not part of their future plan. It's looking like the Panthers will need a new quarterback in 2025. Now, most people rushing out to do their mock draft, Bethley, Beth, excuse me, especially all the mainstream guys. You know, the mainstream guys, the the the, the big guys on YouTube and and mainstream media rushing out to do their mock draft, saying for sure with the first overall pick, Carson Beck of Georgia will be the first player off the board. And I'm here to say not quite yet. I'm not so sure he's deserving of the first overall pick now. If you want to hear my full entire thoughts on the quarterback class, I did a video just last week or two weeks ago, something like that. Scroll down the channel. Um, you'll see a, a, a thumbnail theme off of Quinn Ewers, and it's a, it's a Quinn Ewers topic video, but I do give my full thoughts on um, the entire QB class, at least, at least for the top three, Quinn Ewers, Shador Sanders, and Carson Beck. But long story short, I said... My personal list, if, if I were picking off of who I see off my eye film, like off, off the film and off my eyes and stuff like that, I say should just on, just on the field stuff, no off the field, no personality traits involved, just on the field talent. I say Shador Sanders one on, on, on my list, Shador Sanders, Quinn Ewers, and then Carson Beck. But if I put on my GM slash owner hat, Carson Beck is one, Quinn Ewers is two, and Shador Sanders is three. But you can swap out Shador and Quinn Ewers for two and three. That, that's up for grabs. But like I said, I'm not going to get into, de into details why in this video, because I did it all, all, already in that video. But I'll leave in the top right-hand corner. I probably already did by the time this point in the video. But also, you can go to the video uh, section on the channel and check it out. Like I said, a week and a half, two weeks ago. Uh, I haven't done that many videos since, so it should pop up. Probably one of the first 10 videos I've, uh, I, I've done to this date. Those were the last 10 videos, excuse me. So, But Carson Beck is good. He's good, but he's not great. And the thing is, what do you want from your from your QB1? Or not even QB1, your first quarterback off the board. Now, I know some drafts, you have guys like Baker who, who went one who was not supposed to be a transcendent guy. He's not supposed to be this guy who's a top 10 perennial guy. He's not supposed to be that. He's going to be a top 15, top 20, and that's his, and, and, and that's his cap. Sort of a Matt Ryan type type of guy. I'm a Falcons fan. I had Matt Ryan, and I was happy. You know, Matt, Matt Ryan perennially every year annually was a top 15-ish quarterback. Top 15, top 12. You might get a spurt here and there like Matt Ryan did where he was top five. He was top seven, you know, because Matt Ryan won MVP all them years ago. I forgot what year it was now. But, um, you know, the, depending on the right scheme, team, weapons around, you know, given, in, in, given any year, that quarterback pick number one overall, and I, I know Matt Ryan not first overall pick, I'm just saying, you know, uh, a highly drafted quarterback, but your your quarterback, your especially the first overall pick quarterback, he should be a top fifteen stamped guy. You know, at, at bar minimum, bare minimum, I should say it better, he should be a top fifteen guy. You know, so is Carson Beck that? I think so. You know, or if you were more the route of I need a Trevor Lawrence, I need a. Uh, who else number one overall that was transcendent guy? You know, Trevor Lawrence, uh, Andrew Luck type, type of guy. Guys you think can push for that top five, top seven guarantee or you think is, is a guarantee talent. You know, it depends on what you want. Now, I'm on the thinking of if I'm going to go for a QB1 on, oh, excuse me, first overall pick, I should say I keep messing up the QB1 first overall pick. 
if I'm going to go for the first overall pick, I'm going to go for a guy. And it depends on my team situation. You're looking at the Panthers. They need a lot more than a quarterback. A quarterback will not – they're not a quarterback away or a young quarterback away in getting this team fixed. This team needs a lot of defense. You know, they need weaponry for the new quarterback. So, for me, as of right now, through three weeks of NFL ball, we're going on three weeks, through what, four or five, three or four or five weeks of college football ball, I can't say Carson Beck is my first overall pick off the board for the Panthers. I would say if I'm the Panthers, if I'm Dave Canales and Dave Tepper, the owner right now, I would go for a British quarterback. You know, and there's a lot coming up this offseason that, that you could get. Ryan Tannehill, Matt Jones, uh, Sam Howell from the Seahawks, if he's available. You know, you, you can make you can find a guy to be a British quarterback for a year. Yeah, you're going to stink for another year, but you're going to have a better overall draft class to pick from because next year's class – does look to be a little bit better than this year's class. Uh, you have guys like like Jalen Monroe. He might return for a senior season. He's a red shirt junior, if I'm not mistaken. He's not a shoe in for this class. You have guys like the guy from Tennessee, the guy from Oklahoma, the uh, the young man from um, Shucks. What's the uh, from Oregon coming up? Not not Dylan uh, Gabriel, but the guy behind him, the young man behind him, Dante Moore, I believe. Uh, you have a bunch of guys. That are ready to step up. The guy from Clemson, Clemson Kubiak, you know. So you you have a oh, oh, Clubnik, Clubnik, excuse me. So you have guys waiting the rings who I don't I don't love them right now, but another year of, of of maturity, they could be better, or one might stand out more than some of these guys like a Cam Ward should do or Quinn Carson Beck from this class here. So we'll see what happens, guys. For me personally, I will go with the bridge quarterback route. I wouldn't be mad at getting Carson Beck, but Carson Beck's ceiling isn't high at all. You know, his his floor is okay. His ceiling isn't that much higher than what his floor is. You know, uh, I have him being at his at his floor. I mean, at his, at his ceiling. I mean, you have to say like a lower level Dak. You know, Dak right now is probably top seven, top eight. He probably maxed out there. I think that's where he's at. You know, I think that's where you're going to get from a, a, a lower level version of Dak Prescott from Carson Beck at his best. Given the best team, best situation, everything going right for Carson Beck during a one year process, let's say year six, a random year, year six, year seven, everything going right, scheme, team, weaponry, everything. I say top. 12 at best, top 10 at, at best quarterback in the league. Now, you can win with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But some people like myself, if I'm going to pick QB, excuse me, if I'm going to pick a QB at pick one, I want a transcendent guy. I'm not going to lie to you. I want an Andrew Luck. I want what people thought Lawrence was. I never thought Lawrence was. I said it back in his college days. I never saw that in Lawrence. I, Lawrence was good, not great in my opinion, but that's not a story for another day. But I want a transcendent guy. And I don't want just a, a average Joe, Joe Blow that can give me decent play, be a game manager. I want someone who, who who can be a Pat Mahomes, be a Josh Allen. And Carson Beck is not that. Now, you know, as I said, I'm not going to get into detail too much. Quinn Ewers has the tools to do that, but hasn't been consistent. Shadour Sanders has the tools to do that, has the talent to do that. We've seen more flashes of, of from him than anybody else in this class, but his O-line is so bad. He knows, and his personality, as I said in the last video. I'm not getting too, deta- do, too detailed right now, but, you know, so some more things play him than, than Beck and then Ewers. That's why it's kind of weird to have where you have Ewers and Sanders. But as I said before, I think with my GM and my owner hat on, Carson Beck is clearly, clearly QB1 in this class. And um, I don't think that changes no time soon, especially now with Quinn Ewers getting banged up, Arch Manning, but going to his first official start. I believe I've got against which team. So we're going to see less Quinn Ewers, who has had, who's had had injuries, I think, every year so far. He's been banged up once, twice, a couple times per year. So that's tough. That's tough. So um, and this and this defensive class for the Panthers to pick from from pick one is definitely stacked up. It's definitely stacked up. Will Johnson, there's about two or three. I, I, don't, I don't know if other guys are in the corner spot as consideration for pick one, but Will Johnson, he's top-notch. He's top-notch, man. Um, 
the pass rusher that was with Purdue now transferred to uh, Texas A&M. He's fire. Like the list goes on with uh, a bunch of guys that can be defensive players and be pick one. It's a lot this year. It's a whole lot, a whole, whole lot. So we'll see where the Panthers take it. As I said, it's a long season. Things could change. Bryce Young could get back in favor. You know, you never know what may happen. I hope the best for all parties involved, everybody I, I speak on, on this channel, in this video. But it's real life. It's life. And guys will struggle. Guys are human. Mistakes happen. And some guys will will fall and will rise. So, you know, I hope the best for everybody. But uh, as of right now, you know, looking like Bryce Young is out, is, is on the outs with the Carolina Panthers. I did a video on that yesterday where I think he should go. I gave one spot as my favorite spot, and I gave about three or four alternative landing spots for, for Bryce Young uh, next offseason if things go the way it's uh, trending. You know, so we'll see what happens draft time. Um, like I said, things can happen, things can change, but as of right now, Carson back QB1, but I'm not so sure if he's – First player off the board material, though. That's a different question. So that's it for the video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.